I just thought uh, our guys stayed resilient. Uh, certainly was not our night, uh, but winning teams find ways to win, and I thought we, you know, we found ways to make some plays uh, to shoot 43 from the field and 22 from three, and uh, get out rebounded by six and win is a real test to our guys. Yeah, I, I, you know, when you're in the warm-ups and you're seeing the student section with probably seven, 800 people, you're seeing everybody in this community get behind this team. Uh, as the coach, all you want to do is win for them as well as your players. So uh, I thought they got us through the last three or four minutes. Uh, I lost my voice. I had to go to the board because um, nobody could hear anything in there. Electric atmosphere uh, tonight. You know, we just, uh, we, we didn't panic. We made a few adjustments, didn't really work. Um, Detroit's played great. Uh, you know, they're four and two in their last six. Uh, they got a guy that, that draws so much attention. Um, so we were, we were very fortunate to get out of here with the win. Uh, but we had a lot of big play, you know, a lot of big winning plays down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, uh, I got a lot of respect for for Antoine. Uh, his dad and I have become pretty pretty good friends over the last five years uh, in this league. Um, you know, there's stories of him shooting ten thousand shots in a day. Uh, I've got a buddy that that played for Mike um, at Texas Southern, and when Antoine was a seventh or eighth grader, he outworked the college guys. Um, so you know, he gets everything he deserves. You know, I don't think a lot of people thought uh, this record could be broke. Um, I think they should go play in the CIT and he can break it um, because, you know, he he's, gets everybody's best shot um, every single night. You know, that's a big part of the game plan. Uh, but, you know, we, we feel Dwayne is, is in that stratosphere. You know, Dwayne made a lot of big plays uh, down the stretch, and uh, I give a lot of credit to our guys. Was there a moment in that second half where you kind of felt that momentum finally shift fully towards you guys? Yeah, I mean, it was neck and neck. Um, just couldn't make a shot. You know, our offense was really stagnant. Um, you know, I thought I had him prepared uh, to play against the zone, and I don't think I did a good enough job. Uh, so, you know, whoever we play, Jamie, do we know who we play? Um, we got to do a better job in our offensive game plan. Um, but when you don't make shots, uh, it's hard as well. He's just relentless, uh, Dana. Him and him and uh, Malik. You know, to have those two guys on that front line, to be able to throw the ball to him. You know, AD made so many winning plays. Uh, he was flying around. He was rebounding the ball. Um, you know, he's into all the pick and roll coverages. But he's he's a grown man. Okay, one more thing. What's up, pardon? pardon? I just want to let you. Know, Twenty-four wins ties the program record, all-time record. So, sorry, Dana. Yeah, I mean, you know, when we got this group together in the summer, Dana, you know, it was, um, hey, we want to win the regular season. But, you know, the reality of it is you're going to be judged on how you finish. And we, we get to go to Indy with the right to try to win two more games. Um, so we got a lot of work to do. We got to play better. Um, but, it, you know, in March, it's survive in advance. I, I said all along, I think this league has it backwards. Um, they can get mad at me all they want. But the reality of it is you should protect the one seed and the two seeds. Get the double bye. Uh, we're putting this huge emphasis on non-league scheduling. You got to do it in the tournament. What sense does it, does it really make if you have to play all these quad one and quad twos? And then in the, in the tournament, you don't protect your top two seeds. Uh, but we earned the right to go. Uh, certainly wasn't pretty, but we're not done yet.